Checking yourself for skin cancer is one of the most important things that you can do to detect it early on. So I'm gonna walk you through ways that you can check yourself at home. I'm Dr. Mamina, board certified dermatologist, and here are my tips for checking your skin. First, you wanna look for the ABCDEs of melanoma. So A stands for asymmetry, where one half of the lesion does not look like the other half. B stands for border, where the spot can have an irregular, scalloped, or poorly defined border. C stands for colors, so you wanna look for things that have multiple colors, or something that's like really dark, or something that just stands apart from the other mold that you have. D stands for diameter. So you want to look for things that are about six millimeters or greater. So about the size of a pencil head eraser. I would say that because we are detecting melanoma so early, they are often smaller than that. E stands for evolving. So look for moles that are evolving or changing in their shape, size, or color. And then for non-melanoma skin cancers, you want to look for shiny pink or pearly bumps or scaly pink bumps. So first you want to examine your body front and back in a full length mirror. Then you want to look at the right and left sides with your arms raised. And then you want to bend your elbows, look carefully at your forearms, underarms, fingernails, and palms. You can look at the back of your legs, your feet, the spaces between your toes, your toenails, and the soles of your feet. And then examine the back of your neck and scalp with a hand mirror. You can part your hair for a closer look at your scalp. And then finally, check your back and buttocks with a hand mirror. If you notice a spot that looks different from the others or something that's changing or bleeding or itching, I would find a board-certified dermatologist near you. I am currently raising funds for an event that I am participating in for the American Cancer Society. If you want to donate, the link is in my bio.